Good afternoon. Just will be very short today. I just want to ask the question when will enough be enough? When will the people of Portsmouth and Dominicana whole say enough is enough? <clears throat> As I speak now, there is a U.S. medical ship docked in the cabaret, the MV Pacific Hope. It's on a mission to bring much needed medical assistance to the people of Dominica. Yet that ship is being harassed to leave the island. The captain is being threatened. If he doesn't leave, what may happen to him? He might be arrested. Not so long ago, we had a Chinese ship, medical ship in Dominica. People got medical attention. People were diagnosed, etc. The question is, has there been any follow-up on the people who got at medical attention from the Chinese medical ship? Why is it that a U.S. medical ship is being harassed and being threatened if they do not leave Portsmouth? What has Portsmouth, other than being loyal to the Labour Party for over 50 years, has done wrong to the Labour Party? We have lost Ross, or in our, that was the biggest income earner that we had since this industry is closed. Now there's a ship that is willing to give medical attention to people, and that ship is being harassed and threatened that it has to leave the island. For the past four days now, on the streets of Roseau, nurses have been protesting based on the condition that they have been working under and asking for better health care. In Dominica, people, a lot of people just passed in the street. These are the very same people that in spite of when they fall sick, they don't have no other place to go, but to the very same nurses that some of them are jeering and ignoring because of politics. People putting their health before, before politics. Marigot has been without a hospital for years. And that is why a lot of international airplanes or aircraft will not land in Marigot in Menvinol Airport because of the distance they would have to travel. People would have to travel if there's an accident. God forbid there's an accident on the runway. But yet we're running away an American ship. I wonder, had it been a Cuban, a Venezuelan, or a Russian, or even an Iranian medical ship, would they be facing the very same harassment that they are facing now? That the captain is being threatened, and the captain has said that if he is being continued to be harassed, to move, he will leave the island. I would like the Minister of Health to respond to the people of Dominica as to what is his take, or what does he have to say about it. Because this is the first that I'm hearing as far as Caribbean countries. I know in other dictatorial um places those things happen. It's the first that I'm hearing in Caribbean countries that a U.S. medical ship would come to bring medical attention to our people that we so need. Those, at the end of the day, some of them would probably be referred to other institutions, be it in the U.S. or wherever, for further medical care. And that ship is being refused and is being harassed to move out of, the, out of, out of Dominica waters. We have supported a lot of foolishness, and I'm not even going to talk about the climate change saga in the UN, where the ambassador, UN ambassador to Dominica was forced to take a back seat to make way for somebody who is unelected and is not an official of government. I won't even go there. But it is, it is hurtful that people in Dominica need health care, they need medical attention, some of who cannot afford it. The even the nurses are protesting about the conditions that they are working under. And you telling me that a U.S. ship, the MV Pacific Hope, is docked in Portsmouth and is being harassed. I really wish the opposition leader would get in contact with the ship captain 
and the, amb the, the ambassador in Barbados and have that ship directed to Marigot so that the people of Marigot who, who can get some well needed at, at, at medical attention based on the fact that the people of Portsmouth continue keep, to keep their arms crossed and their mouth closed while they are being walked over, spat on. My question is, when will enough be enough? I pray that common sense prevail and that that ship is allowed to provide the medical attention that the people of Portsmouth, the North and Dominica on a whole needs. I pray that common sense prevail. Have a blessed day.